here in the water too. So uh, three, uh, two German referees and one Norwegian referee in this game. Did you listen, Jörg? Yes, of course. Okay, uh, game, game starts. Start we are in the game. So Australia, the white team. The ones with the kangaroos. The kangaroos. So what is the representing animal of uh, Austria? Moment here. Uh, actually, don't know. Austria, uh, uh, hallo uh, aus Österreich. Uh, Jörg und ich fragen uns gerade, was das uh, Staatstier von Österreich ist. Der um Staatstier ist der Adler. Ja, gut, I mean, im Wappen. Aber ja. was ist das? Das uh, uh, Symbol, Symbol genau. Uh, für, für Australien ist es wahrscheinlich das Känguru oder das, uh, das Seepferdchen. No, it's just for a state. Okay, welcome everybody uh, here from Austria and uh, from uh, Australia. And uh, we see uh, Australia in attack mode going on the, the basket of uh, Austria. But here comes Austria, which uh, the team which played a very good uh, Champions Cup here. A uh, very disciplined uh, team. But uh, don't underestimate uh, the Australians. The, uh, or is it the, the, the Kiwi for uh, Australia? The New Zealand, that's New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah. Sorry. That's the all blacks. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Well, I saw once doing an uh, underwater rugby team, a haka. That was not very funny. <laughs> uh, we have a free throw <laughs> against uh, Vienna. Better not. You don't get the pictures out of your head. <laughs> 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 and uh, we have an attack uh, again from uh, Australia on the Austrian basket. Coming from the close side. And uh, the Australians take position uh, on the open side of the Austrian basket. And Australia is taking their time, probing into the defense of Austria. Vienna is uh, solid in their defense. They have a lot of experience here. And they're, they're players they played when I played. And they're still playing. This, this, this scares me. But not all of them. They also have young players like Thomas Denk and Jan Kinderman in the team. Yes. But there's at least one player that he was playing all the time. I know. That's that's great. I think that's great. And uh, uh, here we go. Uh, Vienna is Vienna is uh, going in attack mode on the Australian basket. And there's a, a Austrian player pushing with into yeah. the goalkeeper with from the open side with the flippers. Don't using the bottom pool nothing happened but it, it depends on the angle if you try to push on on the higher higher level but if well not with the flippers you cannot push you cannot compare the power that's true that's absolutely true yeah yeah i agree i agree and okay. another attack hey spectators australia okay. in the uh, ball possession going for a fast counter break but stopped uh, in the middle. In the middle. Not so fast, but at least. But <laughs> nevertheless, uh, oh, here we have a counter attack from uh, Austria again, and uh, very fast, close to the basket, and uh, he, the player from Austria, forced the Australian defense into that position, and here comes uh, another second player on the open side, waiting to receive the ball to push against the goalkeeper. Difficult to see. Ball is going up, I think, oh in yeah. a cluster to the surface. And here's the ball mm. to the player who stayed down quite long and is trying to attack the goalkeeper over the head. It's tackled away to the surface. And we're on the surface. Australia is in ball possession. And let's see. Uh, let's have a look at the team list. And again, Australia is attacking the uh, Austrian basket. And I have to say, Australia is doing uh, quite a good job here, uh, pushing uh, Austria in their defense. And then uh, Austria breaks out of, this, of these attacks and go for counter attacks. But the time we spend on the Austrian uh, the basket is uh, longer than the time uh, we spent on the Australian basket. And here, another counter attack. Uh, the attack of Austria was defended. Vienna is in defense now, and uh, Australia is coming fast from the close side. 
into the defense zone. There's a player waiting on the open side. He didn't oh. see the ball. That was a pity because it was a great pass in the in the open and then the Austra Austrian player yes. recovered the ball and they are on the counter attack. Very fast counter attack of two Austrian players going into the defense but it was Too deflected. Slow. Too slow. Th in the moment they touched the basket they slowed down. Yeah, why? And he turned around. Yeah. Why? Um, That's the question. Why you stop before you reach the goal. It's like uh, using bolts run the 100 meter and stop at 95. And another attack here, number 15, and, and scored. Score, score, that score. was Andreas Schneiderbauer. Uh, he scored his the, the first goal here in this game, number 58 of the Champions Cup. Uh, we have a little bit more than four minutes left in the first half and it's a 1-0 lead for uh, Vienna from Austria against uh, UNSW Wales from Australia. So we st still don't know what is a representative animal of for Austria. Austria. So none of our uh, Österreichischen Freunde haben Idee. Österreich, lauft ihr noch alle da? Es gibt doch bestimmt Zuschauer bei den 159 Zuschauern, die wir haben, ähm, die gerade zugucken und uns. And another goal from Austria. That was quick. That was a quick goal. Um, interesting because in the beginning you saw uh, Australia uh, taking the, the ball and, and uh, it looked like they controlled the situation with their ball play around the Austrian basket. But uh, now we see Austria adapting to no, the game. No, no goal. Huh. Okay. So still a one zero, only a one zero lead. Yeah. Thought it was maybe uh, uh, was called before uh, uh, the goal happened. And very nice break out of the, the attack uh, by Australia, and we go now to the Austrian basket player going in, but under heavy attack by three Austrian players. Ball is ripped free, but uh, ripped in the hand of an Australian player. And here we go back again with Australia into the defense. But a nice forechecking here by the Austrian player. Two players attacking the ball carrier from Australia in the middle of the pool, on the bottom of the pool. Now the cluster is going up to the surface. Ball playing on the surface, heavy forechecking, clustering, heavy forechecking, ball is free at the middle of the pool. Uh, this is a dangerous situation, there is no player down receiving the ball. Now an Austrian player dives down, waiting for the ball to drop out of this uh, cluster on the surface. And we're slowly moving into the Australian half, but uh, an Australian player recovered the ball, threw it in the middle of the pool, th hoping for a team player to be there, but there was an uh, Austrian player from Vienna and we have now two Austrian players going into the defense perimeter of Australia but they didn't succeed which is interesting but this is a heavy attack from the open side deflected by the defense of Australia and here comes Australia breaking out into the middle of the pool very nice attack from Australia very nice defense uh, by very nice attack by Aus Austria and very nice defense by Australia. Oh, oh, oh. Australia. Austria. Free throw <laughs> against Wales. And again, let's look at the free throw. Uh, the player is. Uh, no, there was not a carry. Here we go. He's giving the sign, passing on the surface to his teammate, and he passes down to his other team and the ba basket from the Australian of the Australians is stolen by an Austrian player. That was that was close but uh, the ball carrier didn't succeed getting get the ball free to pass it uh, to his teammate on the basket. Very well done def um, defense work by the Australians. Still a 1-0 lead by Austria. So, nochmal für unsere australischen Zuschauer hier, ähm, wo wir bisher noch nicht mitgekriegt haben, dass einer von den 160 Zuschauern, die wir im Livestream haben, äh, tatsächlich äh, aus, äh, österreichisch ist und zuguckt. Hallo Österreich, ist jemand wach hier bei euch? Äh, was gibt's zum Frühstück? Habt ihr schon einen Kaffee gehabt? 
Schnitzel. The, so <laughs> the okay, that's that's a dead cow. So a dead cow is the yeah yeah yes. Yeah, you have to face the fact, Jörg. A schnitzel a is a dead cow. Yes, I know. And it's a break. We are in the break here of the uh, first half, and we have uh, Vienna. Uh, the team from Austria leading 1-0. They are playing two against uh, Wales UNSW Wales from Australia playing in white. And it's a... Uh, yes. So I'm all alone here now. And uh, the Rupa, the Rupa base cap uh, carrier Ah, here he is, here he is, back again. Okay, talking yeah. about the free throw, Jörg. Um, there, there are several variations to do the free throw, at least. Uh, what, uh, what I can experience is uh, watching the game, seeing the other teams playing on, on, on every level. Uh, the efficiency for the game of a free throw or the giving a real advantage, like in other sports, when you have a free sh shot in soccer. Yep. And it's near to the goal. Yep. This is almost a 50% chance. And it is a good, isn't that advantage? Yeah. It should it's be really an advantage. It's really an advantage. In our sports, the free throw is often given, yeah, but it's just gives the, the team the ball. Yes. It's not really an advantage. It's not a punishment. But so it, it's a question how you execute it. it the, the, the free throw in itself is an advantage. The, the question is how you execute it. But yeah. if you see it in a game that they really in the team utilize an advantage and become immediately in scoring position, that is yes. extreme seldom as far as my experience. So from your experience, um, from your own playing experience and as a coach, what will be your uh, ideal execution of a free throw so it is a good advantage for a team and you don't have to tell us this your secrets you're <laughs> trained with your team but just you know <laughs> give us an, an insight how it should be done to be an advantage that's a good question and everything what I would say <laughs> will give some insights <laughs> because but I, I I saw something interesting how to defend the free throw additionally and sometimes it's very interesting to see that I learned this on the, on the World Championship for Juniors to see, maybe by chance, uh, but an effect. Uh, um, we have to think about this sport is in three dimensions. And the, the problem is that we are thinking most of the time in two dimensions. Okay, because it most of our life we spend in, yes. in, in uh, yes, uh, being walking, uh, walking uh, yeah, yeah, something not like that. flying. So that is so our our brain is not designed for three dimensions. Interesting perspective on it. Yes, never thought it that way. So that means we, we have to, in in order to give an advantage out of that, we have to think more in three dimensions. That's good. We we talk about it more uh, uh, after this game, and uh, back here uh, in the game, uh, the team from Vienna in blue against the team uh, from uh, Wales in from australia in white and we have now a lot of reaction here in the live stream from uh, austria thank you uh danke good morning aus wien schauen wir am kaffee zu uh, schwierig zu schreiben wenn man gerade die daumen drückt uh, danke nach wien uh, frühstück gibt's bei heinz f um, und die wiener mädels schauen auch zu und uh, wieder ist hier australien im uh, angriff auf den österreichischen korb um, Die Australier machen hier ein gutes Spiel, aber das Finish, der letzte Moment, um das Tor zu machen, uh, damit hatten die uh, Österreicher hier bisher mehr Erfolg. And uh, we see again Australia attacking the Austrian basket, coming in from, uh, trying to go in from all sides. There is a player waiting on the open side, but just for a short time, not enough time for his teammates to give the ball to him on the open side. The attacks are too short uh, to yeah. be effective. We, we, we are the Australians play to against a team who plays the EuroLeague. Yep. So it's a very experienced team. They know how to defend. They are used to play tough games. And in, in that sense, uh, it's a big challenge for the uh, Australian uh, team. And they are just one goal behind it. We are, we're not talking about 5-0. No, no, no. They do a good game. 
I think it's impressive. Uh, I think you, you grow with your competition, and that is uh, the reason why I appreciate that these countries, Australia, Singapore, United States, are here in the Champions Cup to measure themselves I agree. with the best teams in the world. And, of course, you cannot uh, compare the Australian team now with a team like Bamberg, uh, Orcards, uh, Rixu or uh, Flipper. But what you see here is a very attractive underwater rugby game. Yep, I agree. And this, this is, for me, seeing that and adapting about the sports uh, and that we talked earlier, the social media, the, the work here, what is done by the TV crew and something like that. So there's a second goal for Austria on the empty basket. So we saw it yesterday also in the uh, Duisburg game. So if you have to, to put try everything in offense, you have to at least a plan A to defend in the worst case. But the thing is, if you throw everything forward, if you only defend and if you play too cautious, you don't have a chance to. Sc you probably don't have a chance to score. So you lose the game, and it doesn't matter if you lose it 2-0 or 1-0. So you risk it. Uh, in, in the end, in this game right now, for example, if you have the points, if you the points count, but yes. We are talking about six mi in six minutes. When you do it in the last three minutes or whatever, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, that's true. Yep. So that this was uh, too open. So I, I'm a friend to have a massive attack uh, uh, and utilize more player, uh, as much the most player you can get in the offense. But... Uh, you have to find an eff effective way. So I if you look here uh, and you just count how many players on the surface, you see always three, at least three black players under the water. So that's a minimum. So that's uh, so there's three under the water, and the others they have only two, but they are one, two, three Up hanging on the yes, surface. Yes. Yes. So that means the whales. They're watching. They're watching the game. Until they're down, whatever, it's too late. They don't bring the, 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 the possible more manpower into the area of the goal. Into the attack, into the pressure yeah. on the goal. And yeah. that is one of the biggest misunderstandings from a water rugby player. When a water rugby player can breathe, and at that time, he's out of the game. Even he's in the water. True. True, but you yeah. have to breathe sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but, but then you are out of the water. That that's is true. like in soccer. If you breathe, it's like a soccer. You're standing outside of the field. Yep. Okay, uh, free throw against uh, Austria, and we have uh, Grüße here, aus um, Neuss. Grüße aus Berlin zurück nach Neuss and a check here from the open side of the Sea Dragons and it's like uh, Jörg just said before uh, the player only tried to push with his fins in the goalkeeper and uh, this doesn't succeed, didn't have enough push and if he would have a uh, leverage here and uh, pushed the goalkeeper uh, with his knee on the bottom of the pool he would have been, oh it's, a ah, it's another penalty and this is a penalty uh, against Oh, it's a break of the... No, oh, timeout, sorry. Timeout. Gee, but I saw the sign of the referee. He was uh, crossing his hands, but yeah, probably but he was cold. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a he ca uh, called a penalty. And, and then, then a timeout. The, the time then the, 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 white te uh, the blue team take a timeout. I'm, I'm, I'm in my own time bubble now, because for me, the, the present, the future, and the past melts together. My brain melts too. So, uh, vielen Dank uh, für die ganzen Grüße hier im Live-Chat. Es ist für uns immer sehr nett, so ein bisschen Feedback zu kriegen. Agent 7 is uh, some part of my family. Oh, really? Yes. Ha. Huh. My family doesn't even know what uh, underwater rugby is, I guess. I always try to explain, but they're not interested. But you come from a... No, don't start that team up. No, don't talk <laughs> about it. No, no. You like... No. Oh. Well, ladies and gentlemen. Six seconds left. You don't have the time. Let's go back in the time. <laughs> 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 so after the game, we will have a history lesson with Jörg and Wolf. Uh -huh. yeah. Here we go. Penalty. Uh, Australia is... Uh, 
attacking the Austrian uh, basket. Who's on the basket? Can you see the number, Jörg? Uh, it could be Kai Kindermann from the beard, but they all have beards. Uh, now we don't see the back. Very well attack. Oh, very well. Uh, uh, he pulled a little away a little bit from uh, the goalkeeper and then always swam him with a long arm. Nicely done. Was yeah, exactly. Yep, very and then well. you see that this uh, really our sports become a high level all over the world. It was a very nice and uh, and uh, good and a deserved goal by Australia. So we have. Uh, I have to take off my my glasses. My family said I look like an idiot with my glasses. You yes. look intellectual. So your you your family yeah. considers an intellectual an idi idiot. <laughs> That is what you. That is what you interpretate with this. The thing is, I look more smart with glasses because you don't see so much from my face. I have to think about it. I go back in the game, and uh, <laughs> we are in the middle of the pool <laughs> for checking uh, these two teams. Though we have a uh, one-goal lead from the for Vienna uh, from Austria in blue against uh, Wales in the from uh, Australia in white. And um, we have a little bit less than three minutes left here in this game. And Australia is attacking. And um, this gives them a chance to equalize in the next three minutes if they keep their pace up. But they haven't scored yet in the regular game, only with a penalty. And it's uh, against a very solid defense from Austria here. So the, the margins for them to score in these uh, two and a half minutes now are really small. But they try. Oh, there's an Australian uh, player holding on to the basket. Uh, quite obvious here in the live stream. Uh, here we go. Austria trying to break into the half of Australia, but uh, tackled heavily tackled by four checkers to the surface. And uh, two minutes left in the second half here of game number 58 in the Champions Cup. Number 30 in... Berlin and another attack from Australia. They really go for it now. They have to and they have to throw in a little bit more power and a little bit more determination to go for a draw, to go for a 2-2 and uh, probably uh, in extension with uh, penalties. And uh, there's an Australian player waiting under the basket of the Austrians, but uh, the ball was too far away yeah, and we're in the corner. The, the Australian uh, team cannot uh, put uh, too much, uh, or they're not able to bring real pressure to the uh, basket of uh, Vienna. Uh, Vienna has a very solid defense, very concentrated, and they don't come too cl in the short area around the goal. We see three players. So the uh, team of Vienna take uh, not uh, aggressive for checking. So and um, you saw good attack. One minute left from the uh, Australians. Uh, they could take away the the uh, goalkeeper, but it was too long, too much considering uh, where the the hole went uh, and. Uh, uh, this is something uh, for a typical mistake of an attacker. He first want to see the hole before he shoots. So when you pull away someone, you have to shoot Half directly. Half a minute left. Otherwise, uh, the it should be one move. One yeah. move. The the push one and the the, the 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 push the push away of the goalkeeper and the push of the ball should be one move. So basically, we see in this sport. We have a lot of room of uh, improvement of uh, body memory. Time out wide at the moment. The goalkeeper on the surface uh, made a call. We don't see it. So there is a, a Nicola Maha standing in our way. She's uh, playing with uh, Hamburg, but she's uh, I think she's originally from Australia. We don't see what the referees are talking basically it's a time of white oh it's written there yes that's so that's so convenient it's written on the bottom of the screen yes and i have so with you to point it out to me yes i'm, I'm so lucky i'm so lucky yes. here in yes. this moment in my life yes but you have to show more appreci appreciation, appreciation for this you can you can 
you want to kiss Marie? No. <laughs> <laughs> but I would love to kiss your uh, cheek. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Oh. There's you see, it's it's you just love in underwater rugby. Yes, okay. there's a lot of love in underwater rugby. Yes, that's why we play so close and have a lot of body contact. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> I think <laughs> Marina came in and just shaking their head. <laughs> <laughs> this is the end of the game. Uh, the teams looks like the end of the game. No, is it? No, the time is yeah. running. No, 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 no. It's uh, okay. End of the game. The, the, the team uh, are already. Uh, what do you say? Sich, uh, uh they they uh, uh, salute each other. Yeah, salute each other. Thank each other. Yeah. Thank each other. And uh, this is also something you know I like. Do you know that this one part of the game I hate? Really? Yes. Why? I cannot say thank you to someone who hit me before. This is interesting um, because I like that part a lot because even if you uh, go in. Uh, super heavy uh, against each other. In the end, it's a game, and you look each at each other it's as sportsmen. It's, it's a it's it's a big thing, but for me personally, it's difficult. It's never match. I was I was on even after the game, I was 100% under blood pressure. So okay. I cannot say adrenaline, more adrenaline, more yeah, adrenaline, like like. like uh, uh, I cannot say thank you for something, okay. especially I lose or something like that. Okay. So I try to avoid the things. Uh, yeah. I need my my time. I or in the past, yeah, 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 I need yeah. my time before the game, yeah. after the game. So. Yeah. What did you do in your uh, playing time uh, before a game? Because we have uh, guys, uh, we see a lot of guys here with their headphones listening to music. I made a uh, question to uh, Mikkel Rasmussen from Flipper. Uh, he's listening to different kinds of music the closer he gets to the game. What did you do before a game? Yeah, at that time we don't had the, the, the Walkman was luxury. So we <laughs> we entered the pool with a ghetto blaster. <laughs> and Walkman. And and then even, <laughs> even the name Walkman <laughs> is so old, Jörg. It's a Walkman. The, the kids uh, today don't know what it is. And it, it was uh, um, a somehow old-fashioned uh, um, a tape-recorded uh, yeah. uh, iPod. A portable. <laughs> <laughs> Very nice uh, explanation. You can imagine we had uh, in the former times not MP3, we had tapes. The magnetic yeah. tapes with analog signals on that and we had the devices we can utilize and hear the music. And from it was that. so cool. It was so freaking cool to have a Walkman. Yeah, and we and everybody hate us when we entered with the ghetto blaster. What what music? Blue. What kind of music oh did we you play? We played everything to piss off other people. <laughs> <laughs> everybody loved you. <laughs> yeah, nobody loved me. Well, but, no but it was, du was, it was it Duisburg? Mm. Sorry, uh, I don't. Which yeah. yeah, you played for for Duisburg. I so only okay. played for Duisburg. Uh, I in my youth part, I once played for Cologne, but uh, mainly uh, one hundred percent for Duisburg. Okay, so let's prepare the next game. Yeah, um, I agree with Heinz F. Uh, there was a very nice game for both teams, and. Um, we don't have to wait for the finals to see great on the water rugby today. And the next uh, teams coming in are, uh, is a female game. And we have uh, Helvetia, which is a Swiss female team. And the player from uh, Helvetia yesterday told me um, we were talking like they come from Zurich, but they don't. The biggest part of the team Helvetia comes from Basel, which is the capital of Switzerland. Sorry to say it's wrong, it's Bern. Bern, Bern. I, I was with a B. I was, well, I was almost there with a B. But it's not Zurich as most people think. And it's not Basel either. I was yes. just a test, Jörg, if, you no, if you're on the right way. Thank you. Thank you for the And uh, the other team are the East Heaven Marcos from the US. And uh, Helvetia play in uh, blue. And uh, the East Heaven Marcos play in white. And uh, it's going to be an interesting uh, game. And we have Jinx Anima watching from Australia. Uh, but I think the live stream is a little bit behind, or we are a little behind in the uh, live stream transmission. There is always a little uh, delay, so probably our answers to the questions are a little bit uh, late here for you. So preparing the next game, and the referees uh, in this game are uh, Robert from... Uh, 
Austria, uh, Jose, uh, let me see, Jose is uh, in the water.